Hi YouTube, I hope you're doing good. I'm doing okay, not too bad. I found out what was the matter with my computer yesterday. It was um, downloading an update, and you know, that I would have to install later. So it was um, coming in while I was trying to move around. And then it says like, after I was done, I saw that restart to update, and I'm like, get out of here. And I know I had it set for, um, I think, my updates for like a certain time of the day, but it didn't seem to uh, do what I told it to do, so I don't know. Doug and I were talking this morning, and I said something about... Well, the reason I don't believe in anti-Semitism is because of the Noahide laws. Um, I don't care what religion anybody is, but when they have an air of superiority above anybody else, um, you get what you get. That's how I feel about it. So it isn't that, you know, I saw a meme, it's like... Uh, Nobody hates anybody else because of their race or religion. There's just the difference between if you are an arsehole or not. And there is the bottom line right there. Then Doug said something really profound that um, he doesn't like the word Gentile. Every time he says, every time I hear it, he just gets like, a, it just rubs him the wrong way, you know, and Ah, uh, yeah, I get it. I really get it, you know. Like, what, there's two different classes of people before God, you know. I'm going to read you something out of uh, the Jew Zone's teachings and writings that Jason from Archaic shared. And this is profound. This is a chronologist, a historian that um, not only studied about other people, but um, beyond many of us. I won't say beyond all of us, but okay, this is about Jewish calendar unknown forgery. And this is directed right at the rabbi. You know this is true, we know this is true, and soon everybody on the planet will know this is true. So just hang on here. He said, I am often asked why do I not use the Jewish year count in anything in my presentations, and it's not easy responding. I spent 40 years of my life in a stringent Southern Baptist as a stringent Southern Baptist and having come out of that by virtue of uh, intense education, I now find my former Christian brothers and sisters to be toxic, judgmental, close-minded, and totally brainwashed. Most, not all. So strange to me, this irony that the very people Christians defend and venerate are so vehemently anti-Christian. This polarized beginning date for the Jewish calendar, 3761 BCE, finds its origins in Seder Om Rab Rabbah, or the Book of the Order of the World, compiled by Rabbi Halaf Fatah before 160 CE. This deliberate deception is omitted by the Jewish commentators who claim that the second century CE fascination of the chronology was to prevent the people from interpreting Daniel's 70 weeks concerning coming, the coming Messiah, Daniel 9.25.
the setting back by 134 years was an attempt to force an interpretation that Simon Bar Kochaba in 135 CE was the fulfillment of the prophecy. Okay, just a sec. This is why the Anno Mundi Cal oh wait, this is why the Anno Mundi calendar is 134 years off from the Jewish reckoning. This isn't a hint of a Jewish chronology starting in 3761 BCE, anywhere in the scriptures, or there isn't um, anywhere in the scriptures, it was invented specifically to m promote a lie. The Annals of the World, page 932, Appendix 6, Art Bishop James Ursher, 1658, Current Era archaics.com that's pretty profound proof of the change proof of them actually saying why they changed it and um, no more really needs to be said on that but I mean unless people really don't get um The fact that there's people out there having sympathy for people with warring ways and belligerent ways and not the heart of God in these men that are going to persist with um, an air of superiority that they do not possess. See, there's, there's the war right there, the spiritual war, is um, Christ's spirit in mankind and Christ being on this earth at this moment and the Jewish community trying to hide that from the world. That's a fact. And the reason why there is no anti-Semitic are you Semitic against Native Americans? You ask any Jewish person if they think that they're more holy than a Native American, and what do you think their response is going to be? Or any other culture? Are you better than Irish or Spanish or um, Norwegian, Chinese, um, whoever? No, you're not. That's why there is no distinction. And and I'll, I'll I'm going to take it one level further here for you in case you didn't get the gist of what that makes people feel like. Um, I want to word this. I um, if if somebody is offended, they have an agenda. Like I said, the only Semitic people are the people with the air of superiority that is a falsehood on this planet towards everybody else. So nobody is better than anybody else in the eyes of God. But they're going to persist on saying that they are and that they've been persecuted because... Um, they're so holy. You have been persecuted because of the Noahide laws you inflict on other cultures, calling them lesser than, and the filthy names that you call other people in the world has nothing to do with anybody's religion or heritage. It has to do with your mindset towards other people. You don't teach people by um, having that air of superiority upon yourself. That'll never, never ingratiate anybody to you. And uh, uh, on that note,
well, for the harm that you would allow to be done to other people, you should be in prison for that. That's the least. That's, that's my opinion on that, and I'm sticking to it. And if people want to believe that a certain sect of people on this planet are downtrodden, yeah, they're wealthy. Uh, the dark force on this planet will help its own. And you can say what you want to say, but these are not holy men of God. These are men that think, they actually think they are a better human being than the rest of us. That's intolerable. The rest of us are out here wanting to get along and love each other. And then you got this one certain people. that nobody even wants to harm, that, that form a group in their own country and they come against each other and they want to involve the rest of the planet in their fight. Get out of here. Go away. Anyway, cheers, everybody. <laughs> cheers. First words out of Doug's mouth. This is out of a Jew. There is no Semitism. There's no anti-Semitism. I said, I know, right? You're either an arsehole or you're not. Um, if people knew the Noahide laws as well as I do, you wouldn't be able to walk the streets of my country. It's a fact. That's why you have to use the media and all the rest of your um, Kabbalah around the world to enslave other people. And you're crying poor me. Yeah, whatever. There's a lot more people of the Jewish heritage left than there is Native Americans. Now tell me how much you love the Natives. Go ahead. Lie to me. You know. You can tell me about race. You tell me about prejudice. Go ahead. Because you won't be preaching your your Kabbalah to the natives. No, you won't. They'll never accept it. They barely except Christianity, except that it correlates closely with their beliefs, you know. Maybe not the scriptures in particular, just the Spirit of God working through people. Natives are very close. Yeah, I just wanted to make that very clear. And uh, people, you can say what you want. But these people calling for war and you're, you're retarded. <laughs> you're, you're actually an enemy to yourself. That's how, that's how regressed you are. Um, you're not ascending, you're descending and pulling other people down with you. That's the hell of it right there. Start talking about the Noahide laws. Maybe people will trust you. <laughs> right. Sure they will. There's no love loss there. You can't run around pretending you love everybody on the planet when you actually don't. You can say that we're all a part of God, but in your hearts, you don't believe that. Oh, yeah, when you hide and change things, to benefit yourself in your language and add your vowels 
in your syllables to make scripture sound like something it isn't. And that's exactly what was done. Not everything like if it's Hellenized, you know, in the Greek doesn't mean it's absolutely accurate. But I'm pretty sure when we're reading scriptures with our hearts, if we come across a part that says um, that you would treat a goy lesser than an animal because that's what he is, when you get to those certain terminologies, like you can uh, take their children or do things to people that are just so filthy, it's, it's unbelievable. When you get to them kind of teachings, don't you sit back and think of your own children ever? Does it ever cross your mind that you're in a cult of um, demon worship? That our God, our Father, is really angry with you for the way you treat other people? Does any of that ever occur to you? Probably not. Because it just, it's continuing. I'm going to pull up a, um, somebody I follow. I'm just going to read the, posts that were put out, maybe I'll go back the last couple weeks and I'll show you what I'm talking about, what this sounds like to the world. Um, it'll be a bit, I'm just hanging out with you, not, not much to do on that note. Uh, it's, it's truly repulsive. I mean, I, I, how people can actually think they're doing the right thing, even the way they talk and think on these issues. Like I stated the other day, if you're in America and you're supporting war in another country, I don't care who you are. You're treasonous. Uh, well, you're 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 against God, period. But I'm gonna I'm gonna read just some titles off a rabbi's page. We'll go all oh, probably a couple weeks in. And uh, let's go. Okay, we'll start with this one. This is uh, Rabbi Simon Jacobson, a meaningful life center. We'll start with this one. A message to the Muslims. I'd like to share something from my heart to the Muslim community. Then facts of history <coughs> of Israel and Palestine, they don't tell you. What on earth is going on at universities? A Jewish approach to evil. Dear supporters of Israel, hang on a second. Why are Jews hated so much? Um, I, I listened uh, because they believe they're so holy and chosen, that's why. Um, chosen life, the Bala of war, mystical roots of conflict. Jew and Muslim, Simon Jacobson and, or Simon, and Hansen Eman talking. 
Rabbi Jacobson and Hassan again. A response to the Secretary General of the United States. Now this is urgent. Israel and Gaza. What on earth is going on here? Where is the outrage against Hamas? Um, because we know that they were formed by Israel and it's your own people. That's why uh, the evil anti-Semitism. No, you're either an arsehole or you're a good man. It has nothing to do with uh, your race or culture or anything. Here's how we solve this in Israel and Gaza was his last one. He's He's got other ones that, um, what the Bible says about this fight. Um, is there absolute good and evil? 3,000 years of Jewish secret to surviving anything. Um, wow, this explains everything. Should we be afraid? What to tell our children? Oh yes, definitely tell them that the rest of the people on the planet are goy and that you're the holiest creatures that God ever created. I would say that will go over and then tell them that they're allowed to hurt the goy and their children with your Noahide laws. And I'm sure all that will really go over big for you. And then he explains things like how God um, let these horrible things happen. This is the true enemy, how to fight back. How to successfully confront somebody. Well, by me telling you that you're not as holy as you pretend to be and that you're just an arsehole, how's that for confrontation? Probably don't like that, right? Any more than we like hearing how holy you are not. We get sick of it. People do has nothing to do with your religion. It has to do with people individually. Whatever your beliefs are, if you are, if they affect other people, there's going to be a conflict. If you put yourself above other people, you're going to have a conflict. How can you fit in a community that would be like a, totally white Doug walking onto a native reservation and say, whip open his jacket and say, your king is here, take off his coat, sit down in the chief's uh, special spot and say, I'm the holy one now, listen up. You know, how do you think that would go? Oh, oh, but wait, there's more. Your goy, I can hurt you and I can hurt your children because I'm a holy man. It's not my law, it's not my books, that's your beliefs. I'm just saying there is no such thing as anti-Semitism for arseholes. Because that's exactly how you're acting. And I personally don't have a lot of sympathy for the devil at this point. Not when the rest of the world wants to get along. And you can't seem to gather that for yourselves. 
and then you're crying for me. Well, if I walked around speaking and acting like that, yeah, I guess I would think for me. I would think people would hate me. Let's see what's in the memes today on Facebook, shall we? Maybe a couple. I I just can't say it enough. Um, huh, yeah, right. Like God doesn't work through everybody. This is by a Facebook group called My Thoughts. The idea that some lives matter less is the root of all that is wrong with this world. Let's see what else the grace of God is bringing us today, shall we? Yeah. When the Son of God returns, it will be much like the days of Lot and Sodom, while consumed in depravity, they ate, drank, bought and sold. Um, it's it's wait just a second here. Um, planted, built, then sudden judgment from heaven fell. Israel, 1948, count town to nowhere. Well, I already read you the chronology had been changed so we wouldn't know that Christ was here. And they know that. Your beliefs don't make you a better person. Your behavior does. Yeah, be there for others, but never leave yourself behind. As a little Indian cartoon holding a sign, it says, The youth may move, may move and walk faster, but it's the elders who know the road. This is true. Churches and cathedrals are built to a specific frequency. Look at the windows on these buildings and all the sacred geometry our ancestors knew in the healing power of sound or the diminishing of it. The same with a lot of old gospel tunes and the tone of the organ that were used in a lot of Zionist churches and the praise, the songs of praise actually directed to get your money out of your wallet had really nothing to do for most of them with the word of God. This is cute. Jesus is Muslim. Yes, we use the present tense. Seek the truth. Muslim.com Hate speech? Are you kidding me? Have you ever read the Jewish Talmud?
keep ignoring it, Rabbi. I mean, that's up to you. But the Christ Spirit, the Holy Ghost, the Word of God was given to the Gentiles first in these times. And you better wake up and realize that it is exactly what's going on on this planet. And there's people like me calling you out for being the arseholes that you truly are. <laughs> if you think you're having a ba bad day, gay lovers find out their brothers. Ah, that's hilarious. Thomas Paine said, he who dares not offend cannot be honest. Rebellion is when you look society in the face and say, I understand who you want me to be, but I am going to show you who I actually am. Anthony and a Sagoria. If you can't see the Middle East PSYOP, you're successfully been played. Bam. You know, say what you will, and, and um, I was definitely raised with all the documentation that any rabbi would read and taught what to look out for just for these days. So I don't care who says what to me. You're not going to convince me that anybody is a better person just because of their faith. or lack of it. Those who help us face our fears often make us face ourselves. Get ready, tax do dodging multimillionaires are on the way to get poor people to give you what you can, to give what you can. Everything is on fire, but everyone I love is doing beautiful things and trying to make life worth living. And I know I have to believe in everything, but I, be, or I know I don't have to believe in everything, but I believe in that. What is this? Okay, this is concerning narcissists. Well, start a rational argument simply to create conflict, then act like you started the argument you are refusing to engage in. I'd rather have a person in my life with the courage to tell me that I can do better than be surrounded by a thousand people telling me that things will get better. 
just to pull it, guys. This isn't funny, but I'm going to read to you because of the thoughts of men or people. My wife is furious that the neighbor who sunbathes is naked in her backyard. Personally, I'm on the fence. Personally, I would push him over the fence and lock my doors. That's a fact. I don't play. I don't share nothing, not like that. I'll give you everything, but I won't share anything personal like that. Get out of here. Yuck. The number one problem in the world is that rich, not smart people are in charge. I know they think they're intelligent, but when they just can't see the forest for the trees. Yeah. Oh, my heart's a little sad because I really can't believe other people actually think because of their heritage that they have the upper hand on any human for any reason. It's just so retarded. I can't get over it. This is my commandment that you love one another as I had love you. Greater love has no one than this, that someone lay down his life for his friends. This was Christ talking to his disciples. He wasn't talking, addressing the whole world with that statement. But people write a history and claim that they're owners of a land and they're not the original owners. I mean, there's proof, there's documents, there's their falsified timelines and everything else. And the world needs to wake up and hear the truth of it. Even if they're of that heritage, wouldn't you want to know the truth? Why don't you ask God to put the truth before you? I had to do that in my faith. I had to come down to the mere fact that my faith in God didn't have anything to do with the religion. It was I either loved everybody or I didn't. One of the two, take your pick. But if you're not willing to ask God to put the truth before you and you're stuck in your ways, it will be your demise. Anytime we ignore the truth for out of greed or whatever it is, any other reason besides the word of God, you'll suffer the consequences. Fact of the matter is, if somebody's acting in a dysfunctional manner towards other people and it causes a conflict within that, this is a intentional act 
towards other people. You don't get to pull the poor me card when you get busted acting like a jerk. It doesn't work like that on this planet. And that's why people are sick of it. Most people are. Just like Jason from Archaics. Growing up uh, in a Christian home. Just to leave it all behind because he couldn't stand the hypocrisy of the whole thing. Sometimes you have to stand up for what is right. Regardless of who says what or what we've been taught. We just have to put our foot down and say look. Just like when I found out how they were going to implement these things in stages as agendas. I had to make the decision then at 15, but I started understanding it at 12. By 15, it was pretty lonely because I, had, I understood not only the religion that I had been taught, have been twisted and falsified, but that the people that had put those twists in there wanted my bloodline dead. Well, that's, that's not an easy thing to walk around and live with, confronting people even of those same mindsets um, in different areas of my life. You know, it wasn't a very nice thing to live through. Like I said, you can't be an evil-minded person and try and gloss that over and say, well, I believe in war because you just stop right there. You lost me. You know, with that one, you're all done. There is no more after that. I would really love to see strong Native American men in mind and heart and soul confront the rabbi in my country with their truths of the grace of God in language and totally confront these arseholes with their own shh in my country. That's what I would love to see. Love, love, love to see that. <laughs> Who's with me there? Now, you tell them you're a better man. In fact, prove it with your, with your books. <laughs> That'll do it. Oh, yes. Native Americans had writings, teachings, hieroglyphs books and languages also and knew a whole lot more about the world and what how to make their way go around in it too and I'll put a rabbi and an Indian in the woods and we'll see who comes out of there <laughs> well you're holy I'm sure God will help you yeah, I'm just going to send you an Indian in there to help you get out. That's what. And that's pretty much what's going on with me talking about it. I'm trying to help people if they're willing to listen. If they're not, because they would have to go up against um, big money and co contrive situations that harm other people. You'd have to go against your own people, like I did. That's what you would have to do, um, to, in my mind, to get what I would call the grace of God entirely.
might have a little bit, but when you, you throw in that war thing, you're all done right there. That's the end of it. So no, there's no anti-Semitic people out here. Could be a few here and there, but typically the average person we just don't like other people that pretend that they're better than other people when we know that you're not. And that simplifies it for you right there. Are you an arsehole or are you not? Pretty clear. Maybe I'll read a few more memes before I head out. <clears throat> uh, the higher we are placed, the more humbly we should walk. Cicero. I heard something interesting. Not only do otters hold hands during the night while they're sleeping so they don't get separated in the water, but bees, when they move their nest, they hold hands. That's interesting, huh? The narcissist will throw in your face all they have done for you, but never say one word of all that you have done for them. Never. For he satisfies the longing soul and fills the hungry soul with goodness. Psalms 107 9 Label me this, label, label me that, the only things that I'll ever slap on you are the effing facts. <laughs> if God gave you a brain, it's okay to use it in the church. Hallelujah. Amen. Brother. More like hail Satan, you freaks and your Zionist ways. The Lord is with you. When you are with him, if you seek him, he will let you find him. But if you forsake him, he will forsake you. Second Chron Chronicles 15.2. Let's see. What do I believe about this? The church is the mother of all believers. No one can have God as a father who does not have a church as a mother. Church is the mother because it is her privilege to bring forth into the world the spiritual children of the Lord Jesus Christ.
just look in here a little bit. One life has value so long as one attributes value to life of others by means of love, friend friendship, indignation, and compassion. Simon B. Boivier, French, I do believe. And God, God said, the government shall be upon his shoulder. If you want to fly, you have to give up the things that weigh you down. Here's a tip. You're weighing yourself down by putting yourself above other people. It's a fact. You're, you, there's consequences to that. You ask me what's the greatest act of faith to me is to look in the mirror of God's Word and see all my faults all my sin all my shortcomings and to believe that God loves me exactly as he says he does Nobody wants to play with a dirty ASS picture of a donkey. Uh, this is out of Acts 6.21. And it shall come to pass that who shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. Cannot hide from God. Here's First Thessalonians 4:16. For the Lord Himself will descend from heaven with a cry of command, and the dead in Christ will rise. Well, my rabbi friends, isn't it time? I'm not interested in fighting, hang, hating, or blaming, or being petty, or whatever time I have left in my life. I want to live, I want to be happy, I want to be loved, and I want to have peace. Second Corinthians 12, 8-9 Three different times I begged the Lord, to take it away and each time he said my grace is all you need my power works best in weakness so now I am glad to boast about the weakness so that the power of Christ can work through me Here's one from Luke 131. 
you will be with child and give birth to a son, and you are to give him the name Jesus. Why is it when archaeologists find skeletons, they are always male or female, and not one of the other 62 genders? It takes nothing to join the crowd. It takes everything to stand alone. Now the Lord is the Spirit, and where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom. 2 Corinthians 3.17. You know, the thing is, and it really does boil down to this, if you are so firm in the writings of men that harm other people and call for harm on other people, you might want to think that maybe some of them writings aren't probably what you should believe in, but you know, um, who am I to judge? I'm somebody that's telling you if you can't get a grip on how other people feel about you and why, um, maybe that will open your eyes or your heart. But here's a Jeremiah 29, 11. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. And there's a crane, and there's um, effing powerful equipment for your unmovable bullshit. So anyway, what gives one person thoughts of holiness um, and uh, another person thoughts of humility with the praise of God and God's grace? What gives one person uh, Not wanting to have that superiority, but knowing that God is our king, that his son is our um, spirit that we follow. And another person to think that they are uh, of God and God-like above other creations. I just wonder what is inside a man's head or a woman's head that would actually have them think that they love God more than another person that proclaims God within their heart. What? Why would you, as a rabbi, if you're a rabbi, why would you think that The grace of God is with you above any other person. That's, that's the parts in your own writings and teachings that have other people looking down on you. Don't you get that? You know? Don't you understand? People want to love you, but it's hard to love somebody that is playing the part of God.
You don't even act like our brothers and sisters out here are under God in God's human family. You're acting like some cruel step parent. And you say, you want to graft us into your religion? I'm saying, no, thank you. The Christ spirit is saying, no, thank you. Because there's filthy thoughts in there towards other people that do not belong in the mind of humanity or being inflicted on them from other people. Hopefully I'm the voice of reason for somebody, and but I highly doubt that any rabbi is man enough to stand up and tell his fellow rabbi, look, we know this was changed or that was changed to benefit fit us, and we have to start speaking the truth. This isn't all about us. This is about the whole world and sharing the word of God with the whole world and loving people. This is not about us or just our community or how we have the pretense on this planet of being the only downtrodden because you're not. You can say you are, but you're not. Like I said, there's more your people than there are mine. And it didn't start out that way in my country. But you'll sit in my country and pretend that you're from somewhere else. Okay, goodbye then. Go away. And don't ask us to fight your battles. Your retarded battles are just that. Don't put them on other people. How dare you? The very people you call goy and cattle, get out of here. We're not the ones not being unfriendly here. <laughs> you know, we just don't want your religion. And we'd prefer you didn't have it either. With your airs, putting on airs, you know. Go look up a song called Putting on the Ritz. That'll, that'll make your day. Matter of fact, I think I'll share it in the description for people. <coughs> yeah, I'm going to get this uploaded and share that. And I think I've made my point. People aren't um, anti-Semitic. We're anti our soul. Got it? The bottom line right there. You know, if you want friends in the world, well, then you would have to be friends of the world. Not not the world as the dark force that's apparently in control of your minds, but the world of uh, people that would never hurt another human being or even want to feel like they were better than somebody else because of their beliefs. You really can't gather people in the house of God.
putting on airs that just is never going to work. It might You might impress yourselves within your own temples and synagogues, but you're really not reaching anybody else. And what would a rabbi or a priest do or a minister? You'd try and reach other people. Not to push your doctrine upon them, but to share the word of God by example. Well, that's where people are lacking and they're not admitting their lack. You know? And even in your own scriptures, you were destroyed for this very same thing and you refuse to understand that the people you call Gentiles have God in their hearts in the same way even before you did because you didn't listen the first time and now you're not listening the second time and you're being destroyed and you wonder why I'm telling you why that's why because you can't fake love for the world. Well, actually, you don't even pretend. That's the, that's the bad part. All right, everybody. Have a really good night or day wherever you're at. Um, ask your rabbi friends, how much love do you have for the Native Americans? Or does that even occur to you? And who are they? Are they an Abrahamic tribe? Were the Phoenicians in America first? Yeah, they were. You should look up your own history and who you're related to and who, who you're calling Goy. That might interest you if you knew history well enough. <laughs> well, all right, everybody. Peace and love from Pine City, Minnesota, USA. Have a good night or day wherever you're at.